Hey gearheads, welcome back to Billy Ray Garage. Uh, just doing a video here just to uh, show you a couple things, things that are going on with the engine and plans I have for the engine and also new parts that I got that you can expect to see in future videos. So let's get right to it. So the engine, I was planning on painting it, but after cleaning it up, it kind of looks pretty good. I like it, but yeah, I was thinking about painting it and I'm just not sure how long the paint lasts and stuff like that. So like, I don't want this stuff flaking off. I know the paint's recommended for like 800 degrees, but I really don't want to have it start peeling off. But besides that, the engine's pretty clean for the most part. And the oil pan came out nice and clean also. So I'm pretty happy with that. Also, the video that's coming out after this is about measuring the push rods. I can already tell you there was a dilemma with that. Uh, I have the valve covers back on just keeping it safe, but I got some numbers up on the board and they are not good. So I have to uh, find a solution to that. I think I did. So when I come out with the video for that, I should probably have a resolution to that, but I'm going to show you how to measure them anyway, because the ones, the push rods that I have now are too short and that's no bueno. In lieu of that, we're going to start tackling some other things while I get the push rods and get that all straightened out. But you're going to get the push rod video of how to measure them. And then I should have all the parts to actually install them and get them in place. But you're going to get the measuring process. Uh, future videos coming up. Uh, I'm going to be diving into the vehicle itself. I have a battery relocation kit and I'm going to try and figure out how to route that like i said i looked into it in past videos and mentioned that there's really no easy way to get it into the cabin and get it run you know through the trim and under the seats and into the trunk so i'm going to look into that like more thoroughly and see if there is a way to do it but if not we may just put the battery in the front for now until i figure out something oh i just broke my ankle on the transmission but i do have a Brake master cylinder, I mentioned that in previous videos. Just chilling right there on the shelf for now. Also, I gotta swap over the fuel rail from the stock intake and put the new fuel injectors on and move all this stuff over to the new intake. So that's gonna be a video down the road eventually. And also I'm gonna be cleaning up some of these parts here like this uh, AC bracket, changing all these pulleys and tensioners. Just cleaning this stuff up. You know, I'm not going to show the cleaning process because it's just going to be wire wheel and soapy water. And then when we go upstairs, connected with the brake master cylinder, I also have a line lock system. I just got it. So we'll just go inspect that, see what comes in the kit real quick. And also, I just got my oil cooler set up. I will show you all that one. I got the one with the thermostat. I didn't get the one that you kind of figure out yourself because ultimately, Part of the reason why I'm not painting the engine and I went that route with the oil cooler is because this car hasn't driven since like October, November, and that's when the brakes had an issue. I just drove it around the block and I do miss driving this thing. Like today is a very nice day out. I would have loved to have been driving around and making noise, doing rips. So I kind of miss not having the car right now. Warmer weather is coming though, and I want to have this thing ready so I could actually have fun with it. So that's part of the reason why I'm not painting the engine too and why I went with that oil cooler setup because it has all the brackets on it to hook it up and all the lines are measured. It's specifically for this car. So I figured that's the fastest way to go without having to make brackets and all that other stuff just to, you know, not have a thermostat. Maybe there's a way to put a bypass in there to bypass the thermostat to go to the uh, cooler, but who knows? But I'd rather have this thing running sooner than later because I, I still have a whole new clutch system to go in. I'm going to show you all that stuff too. I'm going to give you a tour of all the new stuff that I got. So let's head upstairs and check out the spare bedroom where all the goodies are. All right, guys, in the spare bedroom, I'm going to show you some things here that I recently got. Uh, you guys already saw the headlights. And I found these other lights on... Amazon they may be gimmick they might be gimmicky but they're little side marker lights I'll open the box and show you what they look like yeah so these replace the side marker lights on your front bumper 
I forgot how much they were. They weren't a lot, but I was like, yeah, let me give them a shot. They just plug right in. Looks like just a screw and a little tab that kind of just rams in, screws in. Nothing crazy, but I figured I'd give them a shot. They weren't too expensive. All right, inside this box, we had the line lock. So this is obviously the solenoid that cuts off the brake fluid going to the front wheels. And just some hoses and an insulation kit and a bunch of buttons here to push. Got a little toggle switch, got this button. I don't know which one you use or if you could swap them for one another, but something to play with and figure out. And I'm, I want to do that while the engine's out. I'll do a dedicated video to the master cylinder, but if it's like, you know, a five minute job, then I'll go right into this and we'll do both. But we'll see. We'll see how long that takes. Over here, we got our Mishimoto stuff. I don't know what's in this box yet, but I didn't open it. But basically you get a bunch of uh, pre-made AM lines. So there's like friggin' 10 of these in here. Not 10, but maybe like four or five. So yeah, you got another one, another one. You got a little and fitting, and fitting in brackets. More brackets that connect to the to the power steering cooler and also the radiator support, I believe. I gotta look at the. I don't know if there's directions, but I'll figure it out. And then in this box we had the oil cooler itself. It's small. It's compact. So we'll we'll see what happens when uh, I'm gonna put that in but should make a difference, but we'll see. We'll play with it. All right guys, now on the transmission stuff. So just off the bat, couple things. Got a, I believe this is a Henson polyurethane transmission mount. So I wanted to change the old one out because the rubber was kind of flimsy. So this should stiffen it up. So like when you're driving, you have your hand on the shifter, it's not like shaking and rattling. Shouldn't be as much, but we'll see. And we'll get that out of the way. We have our, Tilton master cylinder comes with directions and a bunch of other things here that we got to play with and figure out. I've taken the old one off before, but I will show you how to take off the old one in case you need to do this job yourself and just replace it with a stock one. But it's if you've never done it before, it's kind of a pain in the ass. But I've done it once, and you have to kind of crawl under the steering wheel and loosen some bolts, but I'll explain that when I go to do this all. And I'm gonna try and make it one video of installing this and the sleeve cylinder. So this is completely adjustable. Uh, you have to, in order to adjust this, you need, yeah, it's something like with installing this, you have to put the bell housing on the engine, measure off the clutch, the, the plate, the springs. You have to like measure off that face and get a certain distance and then you would thread this onto this plate, obviously screw this into the transmission, thread this on, and then once you get where you want it, as you can see there's a little hole up there in the top, I'll put the fast there so you can see it, and you put another screw through there to hold it in place, but there's like a measurement that you gotta keep it off, it's like, it's like a hundred thousands or something, but don't call me on that, I didn't go through this yet. And also I got this little, this little bleeder adapter, I already have an extended, like, remote bleeding line and apparently you need this to make that connect to one of these lines but we'll figure that out when we get there and just a quick look in here we got a new shifter boot some c uh the tensioner pulley i think that's i think this is the transmission seal for where the input shaft for the drive shaft goes in so we'll install that Tensioner pulleys or steam line, header bolts, some hoses that we need for the coolant system. Got the new motor mounts and the battery relocation kit. We'll play with that sometime. Also the dry shaft loop. New power steering tank from Mishimoto. Also got some hoses from Mishimoto. Let me turn the light. A little red. And also got a new, a new coolant. Reservoir comes with the sensor and all that fun stuff. I was gonna go with the Mishimoto one or like the stainless one But it doesn't have that level indicator and it's hard to see So you don't want to be guessing on how much fluid you have in there the dry shaft loop I showed that in a previous video. So we'll see if we can get that thing on at some point But yeah, got a lot of stuff coming up uh, This car went way over budget to say the least 
but that's okay. Some other things I want to do, I want to wrap the headers because when you have long tube headers in there, it, it is, it gets really hot under there. And I uh, figured maybe if I wrap them, it'll keep the temperatures down in there. We'll give it a go. If they suck, we'll pull them off. No big deal, it's easy to get. And that kind of does it for this video. I uh, just wanted to show you some things that we got coming up. And uh, like I said, in the next video, I'm gonna show you how to measure your push rod length, which every spoiler alert, the ones I got don't work. Hmm. Yeah, eventually I'll get the, I'll tie that one in with the cylinder head install and we'll go from there. So again, thanks for watching the video. Uh, I think I'm at like 53 subscribers, which is pretty cool. And uh, it's exciting. Like I never thought this thing would go anywhere. But uh, yeah, like, subscribe, you know the deal. And I'll see you in the next one.